going everyone welcome back to another shaving with surge and today i'm gonna be doing a little shaved in tour for you guys some of the stuff you already see in the background i'm not gonna go through everything but i'll show you some of the things in here um here we go here's my one of my favorite bands of all time poster right here just putting the the non-traditional twist on a shaved in that i like and it's more of me and my personality and likes over here is my shrop here it's an heirloom shrop flax linen as the fabric side and a horse hide on the other it's a very very good shrop especially for the price i highly recommend i keep it facing leather facing the wall just to protect the leather you know from water and it's a sheer bathroom so um you know hairspray whatever else may get on it i prefer to get on the flax linen over here is my shaving soap so this is my little collection also see a firework there that I found on the floor and just haven't lit up. Um, this is my collection. I'm not gonna go through everything. Um, most of it you've seen in videos. And uh, you know, I've only been wet shaving since February. So, you know, it's my collection's grown pretty fast and rapidly. I'll move one more section. Uh, well, I mean, grab that side, so I'll move this side. Eh, I don't want to move it all. It's all, all my fault. All right. Up here, I keep all my splashes. Most of them are matching splashes. I'll pick just a couple. Let's see. Um, boom. Razor Ruby Undead. Whoops. Aloha Smackdown. And one more, one more, one more. What is this one? And Kink. All right. And I just dropped the brush. Hold up, let me grab it. Oh, bend down. Boom, we'll go into the brushes next. Oh, stickers. Got a little Chicks Dick Scars. Got that from First Canadian Shave. And of course, representing that smile for Miles right here as well. This is for sale. And if he wants it, wants it, let me know. We can negotiate price. This is a 26 millimeter horsehair. Um, skull brush, super cool. Stand bought separately, I'll do it on the stand. Here is my lowborn supply handle, Richmond handle. Um, ah, sorry, burping. Uh, Bullseye brush works. My newest <coughs> Smiles for Miles. Can't wait to use the next shave. Another Smiles for Miles. Another Smiles for Miles. Got a Parker back there and got the Simpson T3 Tafalgar. The T3 Tafalgar is for sale, the Parker is for sale and this uh, Richmond shaving brush is for sale. Found my shaving bowl back there with samples in there. Um, I pr I'm a face lather, you know, I, I'll use it occasionally, but I prefer to face lather. So over here is a uh, marker. I mark notes on my mirror, um, you know, if, so things I don't forget in the video because I tend to forget everything anyways. This is my beard comb. Here's my plaque. Um, I grew better for me in my one-year sobriety. There is my one-year sobriety chip. I'm not a big uh, cologne guy, so I got two. I got John Barbados, great scent, and this Tommy Bahama. Um, face toner. Um, <laughs> what is there? Turn it out. All right. The deodorant, um, beard oil, and toothbrushes. Nothing fancy. This is what I used to film. This little mount right here is where the phone goes. I had one, got it on Amazon. I originally had one that was longer, had an extending arm. These are like for cars. Um, I didn't like how long that arm was. It was more bent up and angled. And this is the closest to a flush mount one that I could find and actually like. So it works for me. Under here, I got other stuff. Um, you know, the non-shaving stuff over here. Um, Glow Docs. Uh, that light right here is what I use for filming as well. I'll put that up on my counter right there in that corner facing towards me. I got some Woody's Aftershave down here, a water bottle I was going to use for distilled water. Just always forget to get distilled water. Maybe one day. And my first shrop that's the linen to it got um, the green oxide bar, whatever it's called right there. I haven't used it. It's wrapping. My oil I put on my razor blades, water bottle. Uh, face cream. I use face cream and that's a face serum as well. And in here I keep some more shaving stuff. So there's my Ale 
10 8 comes sorry. Um, this is a throwaway razor. I use it to cut open boxes now. Um, that's my newest, one of my newest scales done. The uh, Gibson Explorer, the Flying V, um, Magnifier. Um, what is this one? This is my Greaves Vintage. Um, that is a Chevette. This is another vintage uh, Wade and Butcher, vintage Ralph Ost, and the Holy Grail of my razors. The, I still keep it in the case it came in, the Max Brecker. I do have another one on order, still waiting for it, hopefully one day. Got some DE blades, hopefully uh, January, I think it's around the time I should get it. DE blades, Voskhod, one of my favorite DE blades. I rarely DE shave now since I started. More individual DE blades. And that's pretty much about it, man. Nothing fancy. Most of the stuff you already see in my videos but just a quick tour of the shake down for so, you yeah, this is my mug i alter between um two dragon ball z mugs i used to have a glass skull one that one broke on some shelves i used to have here and never replaced it stick into the coffee mugs and my cleaners actually came this weekend and they broke um it was a color changing one so i was a little bummed about that but Ordered another one, different one this time. I'm gonna pick it up. That's why I soak my my soak my brushes in. When I'm getting ready to shave, I'll load up this cup with warm water, put the brush to soak, get the light set up, and you know pick out what I'm gonna use, leave it on the counter, and then come back after about 10 minutes or so. Um, I did leave out one brush. I don't know where it is. Oh, there it is. Just notice that. Dang it! All right, I can't do things one-handed. That one. That's a craving shaving brush. That's for sale too, it's a 26 millimeter gel tip bore brush. I'm negotiable with all things. Um, oh, I forgot the Simpson one. That one has already been sold. That one's been sold to El Chingo and I'm gonna take that to the post office tomorrow, hopefully, if not the next day for sure. Uh, so let me know, let me know guys. All right, peace.